how to get more YouTube subscribers as a real estate agent. I see a ton of agents, thankfully, starting to dive in, get on YouTube, get outside of their comfort zone, and put out content. The problem is, is I see a lot of them complaining that they don't have the subscribers that they're looking for. They don't have a thousand subscribers or whatever they feel like is going to give them the validity and credibility that they're looking for. So what I'm going to do in this video is give you seven things that you can do today in order to start to increase and skyrocket the subscribers on your YouTube channel, because it took me one year to go from zero to 167 subscribers. And that was probably 167 of my friends. I then went and learned these strategies and went from 167 to 3,000, 3,000 to 20,000, then 20,000 to now over 60,000 in annual increments. So I'm gonna share with you the best practices to make sure you can do the same in a shorter period of time. What's up guys, my name is Mike Sherrod with the Experialty. I train thousands of agents every year to scale their business the modern way, leveraging social media. And I'm doing something new going forward to make sure that I give back to the community for the people that engage with my content. And I wanna make sure I help you crush it as the market starts to shift. So once a week for anybody that subscribed to my YouTube channel and then likes and comments on any of my videos that I put out that week, I'm going to put you in a draw to win a free copy of my Social Agent Academy 2.0, showing you how to attract clients every single month directly from social media on every platform. So if you like my content and wanna show me a bit of love, you'll be entered into the draw so I can show you a bit of love back. So without further ado, let's dive into the seven things that you can do in order to skyrocket your subscribers on YouTube. Number one is one of the most important ones and so is number four, but number one is making sure that you understand how to properly optimize your videos. Now my free video training that I just launched shows you how to do this, so if you want that drop a comment i'll give you that it shows you how to rank your videos number one which is tags titles descriptions thumbnails the four key components that you need in order to make sure that you optimize your videos properly to rank number one a lot of people aren't doing this i check all kinds of agents channels and they bring them to me and i take a peek at them and they have no tags or their thumbnail is terrible. And I'm gonna to get to that in a second because that's actually a byproduct of a bigger issue, which is the number four one that I'm gonna talk about, but making sure that you're optimizing your videos. Again, making sure that when you're optimizing your content, you're thinking very literally. Don't think clickbait, don't think creatively, think very literal because YouTube is a search platform. 70% of the searches on YouTube start with how to. So you want to make sure that you're thinking from your client's perspective when you're looking at your tags, titles, and descriptions. And then ultimately I'll talk to you about doing something with your thumbnails. Number two, focusing on clear, concise delivery. This is incredibly important because again, watch time is one of the most important aspects of the YouTube algorithm. And unfortunately, a lot of agents love to talk. We all do. A lot of agents unfortunately go on, you know, stories and tangents and all kinds of stuff that people don't care about. And then they just dip off the video and it kills your watch time, which kills your video and gives people no reason to subscribe. So when you're going to look at delivering a video, you want to make sure that you're very clear, very concise, straight to the point, no filler, no BS, and you just cut straight to it. If you look at my videos, I do a quick little intro and then I just start banging it out. And this is really important because time is valuable and everybody wants to safeguard their time. So if they come across one of your videos and they feel like they're not going to get anything, they're not going to subscribe and they're going to leave your video. Number three, incredibly important, a CTA or a call to action. This is making sure that you tell people to subscribe to your channel. So what you should be doing, if you look at the blueprint that I talk about in my free social media training, which again, you can get if you comment, is making sure that you start with a hook and say, interest rates are going crazy and everybody thinks that they can't buy the property of their dreams, but I'm gonna to talk to you about three things you can do in order to still get that dream home even despite the current rates. Quick little hook, three things that people are gonna know, now they're hooked. Okay, cool. Then the second part, the call to action. By the way, my name is Mike Chard with EXP Realty. I put up videos every single week showcasing the local market here in Austin, Texas, or wherever you live. And if you wanna make sure that you stay up to date with whatever is going on in this current market, make sure that you subscribe to my YouTube channel because I put up videos every single week. Done. If you don't call the action, no action gets taken. So it's really important for you to tell people what you want them to do, which is subscribe to your YouTube channel. And by telling them to do that, they're more likely to do it. Number four, the strategic one I was talking to you about, which is auditing the quality of your content. This is incredibly important. So one of the things, a little litmus test that I do whenever I talk to agents about their YouTube channels and I take a peek at what they're doing, I always pull up one of their thumbnails. I'll take a screenshot of one of their thumbnails. And then what I'll do is I'll pull that up and then I will go search for what their video is about. Maybe it's about moving to Austin, five things you need to know. And I'll go type in moving to Austin in the actual video. And then I'll pull up the number one video, the number one ranking video, and I'll put their thumbnail beside the number one ranking one. A hundred percent of the time, when I ask them, which one would you click on? It's the one that ranks number one. 
So what you want to make sure that you're doing is you're thinking unbiasedly. Just because you're putting this video out does not mean you're special and that everybody should watch it. You need to think how you would act because other consumers and clients and people in the public are going to act the same. So if you would click on somebody else's video over yours, well, you need to get back to the drawing board and your thumbnail. Additionally, if you watch that other video and it's more engaging and more informative and it's more clear and concise compared to yours and you would watch more of that than yours, well, you need to think about delivering a better message. So it's really essential for you to make sure that as you're going through creating content on your YouTube and you want to increase your subscribers, the best way to do that, you want to be auditing your content so that way you're actually putting out stuff that people would want to engage with and thus see more of and thus subscribe. Number five is creating an email list to leverage or leveraging your database. So one of the two options, if you have no database, create an email list. If you do have a database, that's your email list. If you do have a database of past clients or leads or whatever, it's a great way to nurture your clients and thus get subscribers and people that could be repeat and referral clients because ultimately people are more likely to share a YouTube video of something that's value driven related to your market than an article. Now, simultaneously, if you don't have an email list because maybe you're a new agent, then create something that will help you build an email list. And what this is gonna be is like a free guide. You can say something like, by the way, my name is Mike Sherwood with the EXP Realty. I put multiple videos every single week, but also if you would like my free guide showing you about all the top communities in Austin or how to move to Austin or how to buy your first home in Austin, whatever, some sort of free guide, then make sure that you subscribe and comment below. And what that's gonna do is it allows you to send the link to anybody in the comments, which skyrockets your engagement, but it also gets you subscribers at the same time. So by leveraging something that's value driven free to give to somebody, that's ultimately gonna help you crank up your subscribers and skyrocket your engagement. Number six, something that not many people do, which is studying the data. What gets measured gets managed. This is the same thing with any aspect of your business. If you talk to any top producer, they know the numbers like the back of their hand. They understand how many calls they need to get to get a lead in order to get an appointment, to get a closing or a listing. They know how much they need to spend on marketing in order to get a lead, in order to nurture that lead, how many touch points to nurture that lead, and then how long it's gonna take for them based on those touch points to get an appointment, to get, sign the client, to then get a closed deal. So the numbers are incredibly important, but also the data is. So if you look at how I approach this and how you should be approaching it is more people are going to subscribe if you put out more content that people actually enjoy to watch and engage with. So what you should be doing is every single month, look at the last month. What were your top performing videos? What did people like? What did they not like? Cut the 50% of the ones that they didn't like, double down on the 50% that they did like. I do that with my own content. Sometimes I put out content that I think is going to be freaking awesome and none of you guys like it. So I don't put out more content like that. Whereas if you guys really engage with certain videos because you find it valuable, I double down on that and I do more of it. So listening to your audience is really important and that comes by looking at the analytics and studying the data of your YouTube channel. Finally, number seven, incredibly important, be consistent. Give people a reason to subscribe to you, right? This is the same thing as like a show on Netflix, for example. You are an entertainer in a sense when you launch a YouTube channel. You're entertaining, educating people, whatever you wanna to refer to it as. So if you think about watching you know, some sort of series on Netflix, let's say you're expecting them to put out one episode a week and they put one episode a week out for three weeks and then they stop for two months and then they put out two episodes for the next two weeks and then they stop for one month and then they put out seven episodes back to back and then they stop for three months. Well, you're gonna have a pretty hard time following that series, right? You're not gonna be very interested and you're probably gonna go find a different one, a better one, a more consistent one. The same thing goes with your YouTube channel is you should be putting out a video every single week. Ideally, if you really care about growing your business, two videos a week is a sweet spot that I've found. The difference between one video and two videos a week is not a twice multiple. It is an astronomical difference. So if you really wanna take this seriously, put out two videos a week every week for the next year. And that's gonna make sure that people have a reason because they're gonna see your content, see that you've been posting consistently and that there's more to come. So there's something to look forward to, so there's something to subscribe to. So those are the seven things you can do in order to get more subscribers as a realtor. Very simple, but you have to be intentional with it. So if you have any other questions about your YouTube channel, drop a comment below. Otherwise, thanks so much for tuning in. As always, please make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you next time.